close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Use the breath as a leash to keep your mind in the present moment. And don't be too far away from it. Keep the mind on a short leash. That doesn't mean the breathing has to be short, but you want to be close to the breathing, not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but also as you go through the day. Don't wander too far away. If you do, then the leash starts to unwind, 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 and then it gets wrapped around all kinds of things. It gets wrapped around the past, gets wrapped around the future, wrapped around your likes and dislikes, wrapped around your fantasies, all kinds of things. And then when the time comes to sit down again, you've got to unwind the leash, unwrap the leash, and get it back close to you. The best thing is to keep keep the mind very close to the breath all day long. Try to have a sense of how the breath energy is going in the body. You may not be able to stick with the in and out breath, but at least have a sense of the, the quality of the energy flow in the body. Get a sense of when it's flowing well and when it's not flowing well, when it feels comfortable, when it doesn't. And as soon as you notice that it doesn't feel comfortable, one, try to release whatever it was that you just did and allow it to come back to normal. And then you, you'll begin to notice, what are the things that you do tend to get wrapped around? Your mind gets wrapped around something that happened years ago. And even though there's nothing left but the, the shell of a memory, see, so we can wrap around it and make it all very tight and make it very real. When the mind doesn't get wrapped around these things, you begin to realize there's not much there. It's just faint images, shadows of images. But the more we wrap around it, the harder and more real it gets, and then it becomes a real issue in the mind. So watch out for what you get your mind wrapped around in the course of the day. If it's going to be wrapped around anything, wrap it around the breath. Be vigilant and keep watch after the breath. This way when the mind doesn't wander off too far, it doesn't get into much trouble. It doesn't create trouble for you, it doesn't create trouble for anybody else. Because it knows it has better things to do than just get involved with the past or the future or your likes or dislikes. We're here in the present moment, as the Buddha said, not just because it's a nice place to stay. His explanation for why we stay in the present moment is that there's work to be done here and we don't, how much, don't know how much time there is. So you focus on your opportunity right now to do something good with your mind. And that right now is right now all through the day. That way when the time comes to go, you don't think about, oh my gosh, I wasted this time on that and that time on this, and have all these little wrapped up things in the mind weighing you down. The mind is free, and when it has to go, it can let go and it goes. So try, try to keep everything right here at the breath. And that way you take with you the, the skill you learn in the monastery. You can't take the monastery with you, but you can take the skill. That way the monastery is with you all the time. 